Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you what are the new additions and features of Windows 11 build 25131. But hey, I'm currently at 9.8k subscribers, 200 more left to reach 10,000. Subscribe now and help me reach the goal. Turn on post notifications if you feel my videos are useful. I have tons of updates coming up for my channel. Also, I will be going full-time YouTube after a few days, so you can expect more quality contents coming up soon. For the time being, enjoy the video. And I'm a bit late for this video because of my exams. However, to maintain the continuity of my series of Windows 11 updates, I'm going to post this. And before we begin, I would like to talk about the Amazon App Store, which is now App Store Preview, which is now available for all insider builds. And uh, the update that was there is currently now available for all the insider builds. And basically in the updates, they provided uh, the Android system update to 12.1 which uh, has its own advantages and uh, which include some of the subheadings I'm reading from here are optional diagnostic data. So it has a telemetry collection of diagnostic data settings in Windows and subsystem for Android settings app is now turned off by default. There is advanced networking, there is settings app redesign. They have also improvements for uh, Windows integration and more some of the things that they have um, added, added so this is the settings app as you can see so it has got a bit of redesign windows subsystem for android basically allows you to run all the android application on windows so i will leave the link in the description which from where you can find the full change log the things that have been changed updated and in windows subsystem for android and that's it i did a bit of testing on this um, thing because I didn't receive this update before I installed an app and uh, the first thing that I find very interesting is that um, it already has assigned some touch gestures in the app by default to the keys that are present here and now I don't play games but I thought of downloading this game because it is very popular uh, so why not test the game the loading time is a uh, bit high might be because I'm using this inside a virtual machine and the Windows 11 on my bare metal computer is not working now so I have to make this video there is also a slight drop in the perform performance in the regular updates of Windows 11 so there are some slight glitches that are there but uh, other than that the video the game is quite playable and you can uh, you have all those controls that are already assigned to the keys so up gesture and left gesture and all which are already assigned now this uh, build includes a good number of fixes and there are two new known issues that are added which i will link in the description and they are also releasing sdks for new dev channel builds again they will be included with the link in the official blog post uh, they have also begun rolling out an update to microsoft store that is the version 222.05.1401.3.0 to the windows insider in dev channel there are details on improvements in the blog post also well as of now i have not received the update yet but here are some of the features of the update there is native arm 64 support finally they have improved the microsoft store app experience on arm 64 devices they will they will now see faster and better performance when you use the app now they have improved app updates we have improved the updates that when clicking the update button in microsoft store they skip all over the apps that you have open so they do not lose any important work you can manually update the apps later they have improved Android app support for the pop-up store experience. When you're browsing the web, you might discover a new app if it is available in Microsoft Store that will show you a pop-up experience to help you install it. This experience now supports free Android apps depending on device compatibility and age rating. The, there is also faster nav navigation. They have improved the browsing experience. There's improved viewing options UX for movies and TV shows. Once you have selected a TV show or movie, you can now see all the viewing option in a single list so that's all the what are the changes as of now in Microsoft Store you can check them out if the update is available for your device as of now it is not available for me probably uh, due to some reason they take some time in implementing every update in all the devices
let us go with the general fixes that is they are fixed and issues which causes some insider pcs and certain amd uh, computers to bug check and roll back when attempting to upgrade to the last week's flight so this issue is also delivered to be the cause of some insiders experiencing a bug check which was enabling svm in the bios and the pcs in the last build so they have also fixed another issue which caused some of the insiders with secondary accounts and their pcs to be not able to update to the latest build in file explorer the new uh, folder icon which is used in the command bar should now be consistent with the one that is used in the context menu below that is one of the change which they have brought up they have fixed an issue which could lead to file explorer hanging while browsing with a lot of dot in mkv files now i don't have a much of mkv files but uh, these are the files that i have currently if you go to properties they are probably in mkv files yes they are and they have also fixed an issue which, which was causing searching from home to not return any results while opening from open or save dialog uh, when doing it in the file explorer returned results so from this save or open dialog if you go to home and search for some application it apparently didn't work before yeah the search works and as you can see it appears here now in the search the searching for something like percent app data person should now show a proper folder icon and not just a blank square so if you just go to the search option and search for percent oops percent app data person it shows a file folder here which is present in app data slash roaming now when you select uh, when selecting open file location for search results it should now select the file in the folder again now and not just open the folder so if you just go to let's go for edge open file location and as you can see it is selected in the file location in settings they have uh, several other changes uh, i mean fixes which they have added so let's open the settings app uh, searching for default will now default uh, while will now return the default app settings page as the first result and not require you to click show all results order in order to see it so if you see default there you have the default apps they have also fixed an issue with listen to this device audio option would stop working after an reboot, reboot until uh, being checked and rechecked narrator will now read out the portions of the radio button in the settings accessibility color filters page to make it easier to navigate now there are also some other fixes which are there i will link in the description below and there are also some new known issues which are there which you can click from the description the link in the description and check them out